Morning, busy gardener here on this hot, hot day in the orchard. It's summertime, it's gonna be over 100 degrees today. We're gonna to look to see how to protect fruit trees and other stuff in the orchard with some shade cloth. Let's get busy. So one of the one of the easy ways to do shade cloth is just to purchase this stuff. I bought a huge roll of it online on eBay, um, and the idea is that it lets sunlight in, and they've got it comes in different percentages. So I think this is like blocks 40% of the light. And so uh, what what's an easy way to do if you really need it too fast and dirty is to take and throw this over the top. And you can secure it. Now the wind, if, it, if there was no wind at all, this would be fine. But oftentimes the wind will come whipping through here and want to blow it off. So there are a few ways to secure that really easily and I'm going to show you a couple right now. Okay, so one way we want, we can uh, secure that is with these little gardening clips. These are used for like a trellis to secure things, but it can also be used to just clamp this on the other side of a stem or something like that just to give it a little bit it's not going to hold up in really high wind but the idea is that some breeze isn't going to come take it off another is some of this gardening wire you know it's like the twisty tie stuff and when you use that you're able to snake it through maybe wrap it around and give you a little bit more of an affirmative hold on it so these are a couple of tools i have available to me and i'm going to probably start with the clips and see how those do So I took and just attached these clips to the on the other side of a on the other side of a little branch on the other side of a little stem. And that'll help hold this in uh, in place in case a little breeze comes by. Um, gives it a little something extra. So on something like these cherry trees, what I found is that the foliage, those leaves, burn. And so I'm putting this on to protect the leaves. Um, we had another hot spell and as some of the leaves died off, those are actually the first line of defense for a tree. Those protect the, the trunk and the branches from getting burned. Um, you don't want that bark getting burned because that's what opens it up to diseases. So this is now just supporting what the leaves do because I don't want the leaves to die if I can help it. And so uh, for some of those that are more sensitive, I'm going in and covering them up. So something else that's worked really well for protection, something like this little avocado, are these A-frames that I made. Um, these uh, are essentially a frame that is on a little hinge, and so it allows you to just place it, and I've stapled on the shade cloth to the front of it, which makes it really convenient. Uh, it's, it doesn't work to have 50 of them, it's kind of hard to do that, and so I just made four of them. Uh, but it's really great for something like this avocado, which is really sensitive. All I do is I take a look at what direction the, the sun is facing, and uh, put that so that as the sun moves throughout the day, it's gonna provide at least some hours of protection. I can also, if I want, really concerned about this one, put a second one on. So, <laughs> we essentially now have a couple of directions that are being covered from the sun. As the sun comes and is moving in this arc, this kind of south, southwest, eastern to southwestern arc, it's gonna, it's gonna be hitting more, mainly the shade clock the plant is still able to get some sun, but it's not gonna scorch it. The worst is when you come out and you've got these scorched leaves. Ugh. So I, ha I have a much longer uh, thing of, of this stuff, kind of a bolt of this, but what I'm gonna do is, or a roll I guess I should say. What I have though are these also smaller pieces that were scraps left over. They're not quite as big, they're not as wide, but I'm just gonna drape them over secure them down a little bit and uh, hope that that does a lot of what we needed to do. Again, wanting to favor that, that southern exposure. Uh, the north is not as heavy, so I want it, I'm gonna have it tend toward anything. It will be the top and over to the south side. These blackberries are at a really critical stage right now. You can see they're just starting to color up. 
Um, ooh, there's one down there I'm gonna go eat later. But this is the point where I do not want these to get sunburned and dried out. Um, some are even still flowering, which is all right. But yeah, when you've got this fruit, I really wanna protect it if I can from getting scorched. Um, so that way it doesn't turn out like these boysenberries that were on the vine and just turned into little dried fruit. Look at these. The stuff of horror films right here. <laughs> So even right now, we see that some of these have a little bit of exposure, but you see that the plant itself inside has a lot more shade going on. Even where there's direct sun on the top, if we look underneath, it's creating a whole bunch of shade down here, which is gonna keep the plant happy and less stressed. We've got all this beautiful fruit down here. It is not gonna now be uh, burned or as affected. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back now. Um, it looks kind of a little bit hokey, but I don't care. This is a temporary measure for you know, protecting from the sun. Um, people look silly with umbrellas too, but uh, you wear an umbrella, take an umbrella for a reason, and that's what we're doing today.